Hi, this is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Today, uh, I'm going to show you something different. I normally show you oddball cards, but today I'm going to show you some oddball pennants. Uh, one is a 1916 uh, player pennant. I have a few 1936 uh, pennants and a 1950 pennant, all issued by different companies. And we're going to start with the 1916 BF2 pennant. And that's of uh, Clarence Rowland here. And Clarence was a, uh, a major league manager from 1915 to 1918 with the White Sox. He was a good manager, had an argument um, after the 1918 season with uh, Charles Kaminsky, got fired. Probably lucky that he did get fired because as most know, the next year was a big 1919 Black Sox scandal. So he kind of lucked out not being the manager of that team. Um, his nickname is Pants Roland. And how he got that nickname was uh, he tripped over home plate, um, tripped over his pants, and the umpire called him Pants Roland. And that name basically stuck the rest of his life and went by Pants Roland. He ended up being the president of the Pacific Coast League, which was a feeder ground for the major leagues. Now, these are 97 different pennants. They're pretty easy to find, let's say, on eBay, but you're going to pay a premium for them, and it's hard to find individual players. And they were made uh, issued by the Ferguson uh, Bread Company, and for five cents premium, you would get a loaf of bread and a, a pennant. So kind of cool. Next I have uh, is a 1936, um, 1937 a BF3 pennant here. And these were issued by the Red Ball Gum Company. And this is of the meal ticket Carl Hubble here. Um, there were many different varieties, uh, colors, uh, sizes, uh, teams, players. Uh, it seems like there's millions of these out there. And for uh, purchasing gum, uh, you would receive a pennant. And this is the meal ticket Carl Hubble. I also have uh, a Giants. As you know, most of you, I'm a big Giants fan. And I have one here, I believe is a BF3. It's a little larger than most. And the New York Giants, you can see the ball at the end there. I believe this is a BF3. I, I just can't get any confirmation on that. So if anyone knows uh, that for sure it is a BF3, what I might do with some of these is uh, just send them in to SGC. And I would like to know <laughs> before I send it in if this is uh, correctly um, named. And I also have uh, one, a 1950. And it looks like this. And this was issued by the American Nut and um, Chocolate Company. And actually, they're still in existence today. And for five cents, you would receive a pennant, uh, a pin to stick on your shirt of a team, and also a piece of chocolate. And you can, I don't know if you can see, but there, you can see a chocolate stain there. And there's, there were 16 different teams. Obviously, this is the Giants here. Another just kind of an oddball, uh, cool item. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching some uh, oddball um, items here, pennants. Uh, and uh, this is Rick, Vintage Oddball Cards. Bye.